So hi everyone, I'm Jay, and today we are going to see the 8255A that is Programmable Peripheral Interface. Let's discuss the features of the 8255A. The 8255A is having three ports, which can be programmed as either input or output. Name of these three ports is port A, port B, and port C. Each port is having 8 bit in size. If you want to use 4 bit port, in that case, you can use port C because it can be divided into 4 bit port. These ports can be configured in different operating modes. So, we will see that how we can program, how we can configure the 8255A in different operating modes. Let's see the block diagram of the 8255A. This is the block diagram. The first block that you are seeing is the data bus buffer. Now, using this block, microprocessor can send and receive data. You can see that this block is connected to microprocessor via the data bus D0 to D7. So, when microprocessor sends any data, the 8255A will receive the data using this data bus buffer. When microprocessor is reading any data, 8255A will send data using this data bus buffer. The next block that you can see is read write control logic you can see that in the read write control logic there are different pins there is a read bar write bar a0 a1 reset and chip select bar let's see what is read bar and write bar the read bar and the write bar are the control signal which is used by microprocessor so when microprocessor send read control signal this 8255a will be read Read means the data in the 8255A will be transferred to the microprocessor. When microprocessor sends the control signal write bar, the data from the microprocessor will be transferred to the 8255A. Then there is a A0 and A1. Now you can see that in the 8255A, there are three ports, port A, port B and port C. Processor can communicate with one port at a time. And to communicate with one port, that one particular port needs to be selected. So using the A0 and A1, one from these three port can be selected. So that processor can communicate. Then there is a reset. So when microprocessor sends reset signal, this 8255A will be reset. Then there is a chip select. What is the meaning of chip select? Chip select means that if microprocessor wants to communicate with the 8255A, the prerequisite is that this chip should be selected. And to select this chip, microprocessor will send signal to the chip select pin. The next two block is group A and group B. You can see that the group B is connected to port C lower and port B. And group A is connected to port A and port C upper. The port A is of 8 bit. You can see that PA0 to PA7. The port C is 4 bit and the, the port C upper is 4 bit. That is a PC4 to PC7. So under the group A, there are two ports, port A and port C upper. Under the group B, there are two ports, the port C lower, the port C lower and group B. You can see that the port C lower is PC0 to PC3, it means 4 bit in size, and port B is PB0 to PB7, means 8 bit in size. Now, let's see the operating modes of the 8255A. There are two basic modes in which 8255A can be worked. The first one is the bit set reset mode. The bit set reset mode is specifically for the port C. And when 8255A is set to work in the bit set reset mode, all the bits of the port C can be either set or reset. The second mode is the input output mode. The input output mode is further divided into three modes, mode 0, mode 1 and mode 2. Let's see what is mode 0. So when 8255A is set to work in mode 0, all the ports can be either set as input or output. You can set port A as input or output, port B as input or output, or port C as input or output. If the 8255A is set to work in mode 1, 
in that case the port a and port b can be set as input or output and port c will be used as handshake now what is the meaning of handshake handshake means when any peripheral device is connected to 8255a the 8255a will initialize the communication using some handshake signal so when handshake process is done the initialization is done after that the data can be transferred between the 8255 and the peripheral device and for the handshake port c is used the last mode is mode 2 in the mode 2 the port a can be used as bidirectional port so port a can be used as input and output at the same time if you see in the mode 1 and mode 0 this in that mode ports can be either work as input or output but in the mode 2 the port a can be set as both input and output in the mode 2 the port b in the port b can be work as mode 0 or mode 1 and port c is used for handshake now let's see the control word format for the 8255a now the question is what is control word format control word format means if you want to set the 8255a in particular mode you have to send some data to this control word when you send some data to the control word the 8255a will be configured to work in particular mode now the size of the control word format is 8 bit each bit is having some meaning so the first three bit the d0 d1 and d2 is for group b if you set the d0 bit 1 in that case the port c lower will be set as input port if you set the d0 bit as 0 the port c lower will be set as output port if you set the d1 bit as 1 in that case the port b will be work as input if you set d1 as 0 it will be set as output and the d2 bit is for mode selection of group b so when the d2 bit is 0 in that case the port b and the port c lower will be work as mode 0 if you set the d2 bit as 1 the port b and the port c lower will be set to work in the mode 1 the next 4 bit d3 d4 d5 and d6 is for group a if you set the d3 1 in that case the port c upper will be work as input if you set the d3 as 0 in that case the port c upper will be work as output port if you set d4 as 1 again port a will be work as input if you set d4 0 the port a will be work as output the d6 and the d5 bit is the master bits for group a based on the d5 and d6 bit it will decide that in which mode the group a port will work if these bits are 0 0 the group a will be work in mode 0 if it is 0 1 the group a will be work in mode 1 and if it is 1 and x x means don't care in that case it will be work as mode 2 the d7 bit is for specifying one mode from two available modes so if d7 is 1 in that case it will work as input output mode and if d7 is 0 it will work for bit set reset mode so this is how the 8255a is work i think this is it for this session if you still have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much